course, is your girl, that Cuban girl. And welcome back to my podcast. I'm here with a very special guest today, my friend Janaid, aka Lemonade. <laughs> we'll get back, we'll get more into why his aka nickname is that. But he is a two time firewalker, mentor for a nonprofit Power for Youth leader of Team AP and a small business owner who enjoys turning sour perspectives into sweet ones and was sent to this planet to be a warrior for love and spread it to whomever he can. I love that bio because I, I asked him to send me a small bio about himself. And the reason why I am speaking to him today about the film that we're talking about is because he's a super, super inspirational person. And, you know, these channels, all about spreading love and talking about films and things that interest, you know, the youth. So welcome to my podcast. Thank you. Thank you for having me. Of I course. I appreciate it. Are you excited? I am. I'm a little, little nervous, but I'm excited. Don't be nervous. We're just having a conversation. <laughs> so we're here to talk about the movie Aladdin. Have you watched it? I have. I love that movie. I you mean, as a, the cartoon, as a kid, I loved it. Okay. It's actually one of my favorite Disney movies. It was, it was one of my favorites too. I definitely could um, relate to Jasmine a lot growing yeah. up. Yeah, actually, we look like Aladdin and Jasmine right now. <laughs> it's true, right? The purple <laughs> and the colors and everything. So, I watched the film this weekend, and so did he. Did you like it? What did you like about it? I did. Uh, one, I'm a big Will Smith fan, so I loved, I loved seeing him in the movie. I love. I love seeing like a a real version of that movie. You know what I mean? Like, I, like I said, as a kid, I grew up watching the cartoon and I loved it. To see a real life version of it was it was cool, and I think I think it was done in a good way, right? Like it portrayed it very well, the story. Yeah, I thought so too. I love the fact that he made it really, really funny, but he didn't try to imitate um, Robin Williams, right? Which yeah which he talked about, he said that that was like his biggest challenge was, you know, being a little scared and nervous about that. Um, I really enjoyed the movie. So I, yeah, I, it made me feel so happy. I remember I watched it twice, actually. Okay. I watched it the very first night that it came out. And then I just watched it last night. And I remember the first time that I watched it, I was like, oh my gosh, like it just took my breath away. Like, you know, the the singing scenes and the story itself. Um, what was your favorite part? Um, my favorite part. It's a good question. It, it's funny because so I grew up, obviously, like being I'm Pakistani and growing up watching like Indian movies, Bollywood movies, basically a little bit where there's a lot of singing and dancing going on. When I came to America, like watching English versions of like, um, what are they called? I'm blanking right now, but the 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 uh, the the cultural movies. Well, like, like movies with with songs and stuff in them, right? Oh, the like, musicals. Yeah, musicals. Sorry, okay. there you go. Um, I wasn't a fan of like the American style, of them, right? Because like I came here and I was like, American movies are meant to be movies. Like that's what I like about them. But this one, watching this, I was kind of like. It was different, you know what I mean? Like, I liked that they brought some of that songs back. Like, I was singing. I was in there singing, like, to the songs because I used to sing them as a kid. And I, I love the culture aspect of it. Um, we were talking about that off camera a little bit earlier. And I love that, you know, they kind of mix, correct me if I'm wrong, but they mix this um, so South Southeast uh, Asia with the Arabic cultures a little bit in the movie when it comes to the costumes and all that stuff. Because... Aladdin uh, used, it was Indian and Arabic, if I'm not mistaken, when it was first written. So the fact that they did that in the movie was really cool. And I mean, I, I don't know anything about the cultures, but <laughs> you do. So if you liked it, that's a good thing. Yeah. I mean, I actually, I don't, I guess I never really knew where, like what the background of Aladdin was. Um, and you, they don't really talk about it because he's from what, Agrabah? Like, any, yeah, Agrabah. Real, like, yeah. you know, but. Um, what's funny is, yes, there's a lot of things, I think, from whether it's, you know, Arab cultures and the South Asian cultures, sometimes that mix, right? Like, um, with the weddings or like our weddings are kind of like that. Like I've been to a wedding where my friend came out on an elephant, right? Um, 
my own, I came out on a horse. Um, so what? yeah, like, so there's a lot of things that are mixed and like the colors are definitely one thing that um, I love about our culture and our weddings is it, they're just so colorful, right? Like, and it's just a huge party. Look at right. me, I'm blinged out today. Yeah. <laughs> I, I'm, I try to be Aladdin. Uh, I mean, Aladdin. Whoa. <laughs> I try to be Jasmine today. <laughs> <laughs> I saw that. It's beautiful. Thank you. I love that too about the cultures. You know, the fact that the movie brought all the colors, like you said, and the animals, like the love that they have for the animals. I think it translated very well with what the culture is. I was a little bit confused. We shot a, a video last week for my channel and we... <laughs> I'm guilty of charging this. We we made Jasmine in my book Indian. Okay. But it goes back to like the fact that it gets confusing for some people, right? Where Aladdin comes from. So um I guess at the end of the day, it doesn't really matter because every I feel like every culture is so we attach somehow, you know, like around the world. So I felt like that was really cool. Yeah. Definitely. I think a lot of people sometimes get confused, too, when they see, like, a turban. They think, like, Arab. Yeah. But, like, I mean, I had one on my wedding. I, I don't know the actual, you know, behind what what's fully behind a turban or whatever. But, like I said, the cultures, there's a lot of mixture in them, right? And I'm not Arab, and I'm not Middle Eastern. I'm South Asian because Pakistan and India is on from the continent of Asia, right? So a lot of people get that confused, too. But AKA me, Cuban. Yeah, I had no clue. I'm like, okay, that's good to know everybody. This is this is great. Thanks for that clarification. No, you're welcome. <laughs> so talking about going back to the film, right? Because um, I know we're pretty excited to watch it. When you watched it, what was like your instant thought? Whatever it came to mind. Um, I think what, it, it's funny because I probably didn't see this as a kid, but I see it now, right? Which I noticed that battle between light and dark that's going on, right? And I mean, in all honesty, I feel like it's going on in the world right now. But I, I liked how that, that was portrayed in this movie, right? That there's, there's always gonna be that light and dark going on in the world, right? And it's kind of like, love is what overcomes it. And it's your choice, right? Whatever you choose to, to partake on, yeah. Sure. So yeah. for you, that was the main message of the yeah, movie. Yeah, definitely. That's that, what I saw out of it. That's good. Actually, this movie, so the classic version, it's a little darker than, you know, Jafar yeah. is way darker than this one, which, I mean, I'm I'm okay with. But I'm. Uh, this is another thing, another thing. I was like, okay, Jafar is hot, you know? Jafar, the classic Jafar is creepy. Yeah. I definitely. remember watching the original Aladdin and being scared of Jafar. He was like the older creepy dude that w had just powers and and money and all these things and was just creepy. That's that was my idea of the old Jafar. This Jafar, I mean, the acting was great, you know, he's great, but I was looking at him and I was like I don't feel creeped out. I don't feel scared. I feel like okay, he's mean, but you know? Yeah. Did you get that feeling? Um, a little bit. Not the hot part, obviously. <laughs> I mean, he's a good looking guy. But um, <laughs> um but I think that just it kind of comes back to still like, you know, back in the day it might have been stereotypical to like think of a a bad or dark character as somebody creepy and whatnot, right? Whereas I feel like nowadays, like it it's not really about the look. A look doesn't make somebody bring out that light or darkness in them, right? Like, You're right. <laughs> You're right. You're so, totally right. So, I mean, I thought, you know, it was still cool. It, it, it happens in the world now. You get, you know, whether they're good-looking people or not, like, there's light and dark in everybody, and it's what they want to show to the world. Yeah. Another thing that I loved that was different from the classic version was um, they made Jasmine. So it's a very current movie, which I love. Um, it's funny because I was talking to a friend of mine last night and he was like, I didn't like it. It doesn't look like the, like the, they didn't copy the classic version, but I actually loved the fact that they made it modern and they made it like for the younger kids, they made it relatable and understandable for them um, because we're not in 1992 anymore, you know? So the fact that they made Jasmine very like 
women, woman empowered, you know, like that strength. And it wasn't about, even though the movie is called Aladdin, it wasn't entirely about Aladdin anymore. It was more like Jasmine's story. It felt to me that yeah, way. Definitely. And I love that part. And I, I think that part actually made me think where I think she had her song, right? Where she was being taken away by the guards. Yeah, Speechless. Yeah, and I was like, wait, was that in the cartoon? I don't it was know. not. It wasn't, right? No. Okay, so I saw that, and I was like, I love this, and I love the fact that her thing is, like, she's trying to take away the stereotypes of, you know, well, you're a woman, and this is your place is to, you know, there was a lot of that in there. Like, yeah. keep your mouth shut and all that stuff, right? Especially in cultures like ours, yeah, mine included, right? from back in the day where people are super old-fashioned. and Yeah, it's like the woman has her place and, you know, and it's like, no, honestly, the future is female. Yeah. And women have their strength, right? Like, so do men. We all have our, we all have our own strength. And, I mean, in all honesty, I think women are stronger. Thank right? you. Um, so... It's because they have that intuition in them, right? They Women come from the heart. Men are too much in their head. And um, seeing that, it was great that they brought that in a movie, like you're saying, kind of like it, it adds on to what's going on in the world right now, which is showing and inspiring women that, like, look, you can be the, sul the sultan, right, of a country. Mm -hmm. You can lead because you have that in you. And it's like, I, I think, because I, I try to tell a lot of women this when, you know, friends of mine and stuff that, a lot of people are wearing masks sometimes. And these days, a lot of women are wearing masks where they think they have to wear a masculine mask to, to live in a certain way in a mm -hmm. world. But it's like you don't, right? Your superpower is the fact that you're feminine, right? If, if they're a feminine energy, right? Because everybody yeah. has masculine feminine energy in them. But if you're a feminine energy and you come from that place, that's your superpower. Like don't, don't wear a masculine mask to try to be in the in this world that you you know people say is a man's world because it's not but um and I love that about her like she didn't have to try to become this masculine person to show that she had power she stayed in her heart and she stayed in who she was as a feminine energy and you know I love that part yeah I really loved it too I thought that was great I, the whole movie just has my heart I I I can honestly say and I'm sorry, but I like it more than the classic version. I really did. You don't have to be sorry. I, well, to those that are like died on that, how do you say it? Uh, died hard Disney fans, right? Like I love the classic version, but this version was just like amazing. So you, when you mentor kids and youth, right? Um, what, so you, we talked about the message of empowerment and, and, and the positive message that you got from this. Is there any other message from the movie that you would tell, mentor your kids with? You never know what somebody's going through, right? Like, like Aladdin is looked at as a thief, right? Does that make him a bad person? Like, no, it doesn't. He's doing what he has to do to survive, right? So it's kind of like you never know what somebody is going through. Mm -hmm. So my message would be to, to have compassion for everybody, right? Whether they're even Jafar, let's say. Whether they're evil or they're not, they're looked at as evil. Come from a place of love, right? And have compassion for people because you have no idea what people are going through. Like everybody has their own struggle, right? Um, and that's what, you know, actually my, men, my little mentee Jose is here. Um, and I, I try to always tell him that, right? Like... He sometimes will bring a subject up to me about something he's annoyed about. And I'm always like, hey, you know, like, what else could this mean? Right. Like, what is that person dealing with? What are they struggling with? Right. Like, Instead of judging them right away, exactly. trying to understand, which is really hard to do these days. It is. We live in a very fast paced world. And to be able to take a second, like I struggle with it too when I get annoyed, you know, it's like you have to take a second, think about it, feel compassion for them, try to understand and then speak your opinion yeah, on it. Definitely. And that process, not everybody knows how to deal with that. It's no. really hard. I mean, a good way to do it is just take a breath, right? Take a deep breath, take a couple of deep breaths. And because a lot of us, we're not breathing properly. You think you are just because we're staying alive by breathing. But when you literally just take a second, even if you close your eyes, like um, Jose probably thinks I'm a little weird for this. But uh, <laughs> right before coming in here, I, I, I did a little meditation where I just sat and I breathed. 
right? Yeah. So, so that's that's what helps. Like you'll calm down. You'll come from your heart and not your head, right? Is the mm-hmm. biggest the other thing that I try to tell people that 100%. I've learned myself. A hundred percent, and I love that. And I, I that's one of the reasons why I love that you're my guest because I I want to talk about film on this channel. But it's all about inspiring other people, you know, people that that have something to say, you know, to have a guest that has a, a positive input about life. And then you never know who's watching on the other end. And if we can talk about films doing that, that's why my intention with this is never to criticize the films. It's just to voice our opinions. Right. Like, what did it make you feel? Yeah. You know, for me, it made me feel love. It made me feel excitement. It made me feel, you know, when she sang Speechless and she turned around. This is my favorite part. Hakeem. I was like, Ooh, okay, something's about to go down. And I love that. And that's the, that's what I love about films. When yeah. they make you do things like that, it's like, okay, this is a great film. And then obviously Will Smith is like super funny. And yeah. I was cracking up the whole time. Um, I have a surprise for you. Okay. Because on this channel, you know, it's becoming a little bit of a tradition for me to share my Cuban culture with my guests. So last time I had a bunch of food. This time I have dessert. Okay. So I have Cuban flan for you. Ooh, okay. I'm sure you've had flan. I have. Okay. This is Cuban flan. Okay. Thank you. We chopped it up in little pieces. (laughs) I'm excited. You're excited. I love Cuban food. I actually I have a bite with you. Just had a ton last week from yeah. Port, from Portos. Nice. Oh yeah. You like it? I do. Do you really like it though? No, I do. I like that it's not overly sweet actually. Yeah. Right? A lot of flan can be I think a little too sweet sometimes. It's got a lot it's more of a caramel taste yeah, to it. I like that. It's like burnt caramel sort of. I like of. that. I yeah. love burnt caramel. Yeah. Yay. Sorry, oh, tradition so continues. You. You're welcome. You're I appreciate welcome. That. Go, Did you know it. that they're they they're making counting counting last night, they made a hundred million dollars no, opening I didn't. weekend. I didn't know that. That's amazing. Yes. So up until Saturday they made eighty five. And okay. counting Sunday. Actually counting Sunday because today is Memorial Day. So the whole Memorial Day weekend, they're making a, an average of a hundred million dollars. That's awesome. That for them. is crazy. That's awesome. And I mean, I saw that because I was, I went twice and every time I was trying to get tickets, everything was almost full. Yeah. So I was like, oh, okay. People are, they're really enjoying that. They're going. Yeah. That's awesome. They're going. That's good. I like that. I, on a, another question for you. I just remember I have one of my friends, like I said, I was talking to one of my friends. I have some tea for you as well. Thank you. I just love feeding people on this channel. <laughs> <laughs> one of my friends yesterday was telling me that. Um, cheers. That um, he really didn't like Jasmine, uh, the the girl that played Jasmine. Really, these are his words. I'm not gonna say who, but obviously. But he was like, I thought she looked too white to play Jasmine. I personally loved her as an actress. I do. I I did too. You did too, yeah. right? Yeah. Since you're you, it's more of your culture. Do you think she was good to portray that character? You liked it. Um, I think so. I mean, uh, at the end of the day, too, like like I said, with Aladdin, like I'm not a hundred percent sure which background it's meant to be from, you know. Um, but I just I think sometimes people have too much of a stereotypical thought and view of like what it should be, right? Yeah. And when people start like, oh, it should be this or it should be that, you know, my mentor, Mr. Tony Robbins, always says, you're shooting all over yourself, right? Like, why do we have to have that? Why can't it just be what it is or whoever is, you know, producing the movie or directing it? If that's their vision, that's their vision, you know, like, yeah, that's the way I look at it. But I thought she did a fantastic fucking job. I loved seeing her up there. I loved it too. I thought she was great. Her and Will Smith were my favorites. Yeah. Yeah, that's and that's why I asked you that question, because it's perspective, right? Yeah. All right, guys. So we're gonna wrap it up here. Um, thank you so much, Janaid. You're welcome. Thank you. Thank Janaid you. Janaid Lemonade. <laughs> I love that, by the way. We manifested this, or I did at least, I think. We were talking about that. Like 
We did. When we met, right? When we met. When we met after, I was like, I think me and her are going to do a podcast one day. And we, you didn't have one. Mm. I don't have one. Like, so this is awesome. I, you know, I'm truly grateful for you inviting me on. Thank you for coming, of and course. You're an inspiring person for doing Aww, this. Thank you. Thank you. You are as well. Thank you. Um, all right, guys. So check out this video. Stay tuned. And tell everybody, your your before I forget, your social media accounts, where they can find you. Talk about your nonprofit, how they can help. Anything you want to let um, people know. Okay, so my Instagram account is Janae.Lemonade. Um, and then you can find me under Janae Lemonade Salim on Facebook. Um, let's see. The nonprofit. So it's not my nonprofit, but I work for uh, Power for Youth. Um, we mentor at-risk youth um, with constant or consistent, um, basically support and care. Um, and you can find me, I, I own a small business called Allen Printing in Long Beach or Signal Hill in Long Beach area. Um, and then my thing, I, so I created a, a separate site for my team to create their own stuff because I want them to like, it, art is therapeutic, so I want them to create their own stuff instead of what we do for our clients all the time. Okay. And it's a way of me spreading my purpose, which is to spread love. Um, so that website is team-ap.com, where um, I donating part of my profits from that to Power for Youth for everything that's bought on that website, basically. Amazing. So. And he has, like he said, his mentee, Jose, who's 14 years old. He's here in the studio today. Um, he brought him in. Can he, can yeah. he say hi or no? I don't if, know. If he, if he wants to. His, uh, his Instagram account for his new photography thing is Ozer, Ozer Photography. Come here, Jose. Say hi to the camera. Can you see him? Yeah. 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 <laughs> <laughs> he's a little shy. So this is why I lo I love that Janet is here today because he's inspiring like the youth, so many so many young kids, and I love that he's doing that. Thank you. Uh, thank you for talking a lot in with me today. You're welcome. Um, and thank you for being amazing and being here. So you guys can find uh, this podcast on my YouTube channel at if you search that Cuban girl spelled out correctly. You know we promote good grammar here, and Instagram at Hello Movie Lovers and my personal Instagram at Cicely Marin. Everything's going to be linked below so thank you guys so much thank you thank you and until next time you guys Mwah.